Hi, I'm Granger Metter. We're going to see how to make a quiz inside Canvas just using PaperScore. First thing we want to do is load Canvas. So on the district website, we can go to the staff links area and then pick Canvas to get started. And on the Canvas login screen, we just put in our usual credentials, put in my username and the same password I use for most things in the district and log in. The dashboard will come up and we need to pick the course we're interested in. I'm going to be interested in this one called Sampro Course, so I'll open it up. Now, if you were going to make a quiz inside Canvas to be online for students to use, you'd go to Quizzes. But we're going to make a quiz that's all done on paper. So I'm just going to go down here and not, instead of picking Quizzes, I'm going to pick Paper Score. And that'll invoke Paper Score when I click on it. And once Paper Score loads up, It'll show me a list of any other quizzes I've already done in Paper Score, and I can make a new quiz without having done any more preparation, except knowing how many questions there are and what the answers are, by going to Create Answer Sheet Without Quiz and clicking there. Once I click that, it'll ask what's the title I want to give this quiz, maybe something like Sample Quiz for Paper Score. It'll put how many questions you have. We'll just put up two on this one. And then how many default number of options you want? A, B, C, D would be four. You can always change that for each question as you go. Now there are two options here. The default is to print a unique answer sheet for each student. That's probably the one you want to use. Now if you did want to run off a bunch of generic answer sheets on a duplicator, you could pick the print single answer sheet. And what that'll do is it'll create a form of the answer sheet that's generic. So you could just run, out, run off a bunch of copies but it'll give you a printout of ID numbers the students will have to bubble in to identify themselves when you scan. So it's easier to just leave it on the default of print unique answer sheet per student. And once you got that selected, hit next. And it shows you your answer sheet and you're gonna bubble in what are the correct answers. So maybe the first one's B, the next one's C. But what if we had a question that had more choices or fewer choices? Well, these little buttons over here are your solution. You can hit plus and add more choices or minus to shorten them back down. So however many choices you need to fit the question in mind. And once you've got all of these bubbled in, you're ready to hit next. It'll show you your list of students in the class. We only have a few in the sample class. And if you wanted to customize answer sheets for just certain kids or sections, you could do that here. You could click all or none to quickly, or you could search for a kid or just run through the list and click and unclick to decide which answer sheets you want. Usually, of course, you just want all of them. And then you can click Create Answer Sheets. And that's gonna set up our answer sheets for us. Takes a little while. And then it gives us some options. It says, do you wanna print your answer sheets or print quiz questions? Well, we don't have any quiz questions here, so we're going to print answer sheets, of course. So if we pick that option, it'll create these answer sheets and we can scroll through them and see that, yep, we've got a separate answer sheet for each kid in the class. And we could print that right off, or we could download it and print it off later. Now we're not actually done. That quiz has been automatically created inside Canvas, and right now kids could get into it and monkey around, and I need to lock that down. So after I print these off or save them for later, I wanna switch back over here to Canvas. And I'm still on the paper score screen, and I wanna switch over to quizzes, where quizzes usually are in Canvas. And when I click that, it'll show me all the quizzes in my course, including that one I just created. I just go find it. There it is, sample quiz for paper score. Now these options over here mean it's not linking to the PowerSchool gradebook. That's fine for now. This makes it published or unpublished, but I like to leave it published so kids can see the due date and all. So what I really want to do is lock it down with some other options. So I'm going to click this gear icon and pick edit. And that'll let me edit this quiz inside Canvas that paper score actually created for me. I'll wait a little bit so it'll load everything up. And then on this detail screen about the quiz, if we scroll down, we can see all these different options. And there are some I definitely want to change here. I do not want to allow multiple attempts. I do not want students to see their answers right off the bat because they could log in here, get answers, and share them with others. But the most important thing is I want to lock this down right now where no one can get into it easily. So require an access code is what I want. I turn on that option. And I'm not going to give this to any kids, so I'm just going to make something just ridiculous here. And that way, if they don't have that access code, they can't get in this sucker. While I'm on the screen, I might as well set a due date. 
So it goes in the kids' calendars. Maybe I'm giving it this Friday or something. And then I hit save, and that will lock this quiz down so that the kids can't bumble into it online, and they'll have to take it on paper like I want. Now, there is a downside to this. Because we've set that access code, paper score can't load in answers that we scan in. So I'll show you in another video how when we're ready to load in answers kids have made on paper score, we'll briefly turn off that access code.